Mi piel verde oliva, ojos marrones y pelo gruesa te confunden. Se burlan de ti, burlarte de ti. Te preguntas qué tienes que hacer para reclamarme. Poseerme. Tomame como tu mascota. Privada y exótica. So, where are you from? Gas. Are you a Mexican? <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> I'm Persian. <laughs> That's sick. I've been to Puerto Vallarta like five times. Who's this asshole? Just my happy. Muy good. Let me do a check on him. Me call my father. You got me into it. My father. That's a sad I love exotic women. I bet you're freaky. Ah, don't act like you're innocent. My olive skin, brown eyes, and thick hair confuse you. Tease you. Taught you. You wonder what you have to do to own me. Claim me. Take me as your private exotic pet. You don't want to be your exotic women everywhere or just like me, some taller, darker, nicer than me. But like me just the same. We're living in an era where women are coming forward, demanding equality and shedding light on issues of abuse and sexual harassment. However, a major issue of mistreatment and aggression towards women remains undiscussed. The hypersexualization of exotic women. Women that are deemed ethnically ambiguous, interesting to look at, and sexy for their otherness. So, using the poetry Not Your Exotic, Not Your Erotic by Sahara Moon, the short story Young, Spicy, Ethnic by Eliza Bazan, the one woman show Queso Culture by Irene Archer, an article from the Huffington Post, Psychology Today, and The Atlantic. I present to you exotic, erotic, exhausting. A program. Because I am tired of being the sexy other. I just want to be somebody. The first time I was called exotic, I was uh, I was 11. I was going bra shopping with my mom, which, you know, was mortifying enough. I mean, we're stuck in this sea of bras, and my mom is just picking things out and staring at my chest, trying to gauge my size, and I am trying really hard to melt into the floor right about now. And uh, there was this couple, a, a bored husband and a wife staring at cotton nightgowns, and my mom had veered off to some clear reception, and before I could follow behind her, I felt a hand on my shoulder. Looking behind me was the bored husband, he had to be in his 50s, and and he gives me a smile. What are you? He asks. I hesitate. I don't understand his question. Are you Mexican? Muslim? Half black? I stare out that I should go find my mom. And, and he squeezes my shoulder a little too hard before finally letting go. He leans in with a secret thought meant just for us. <laughs> I can tell you're gonna fill out real nicely. I can already see the curves coming in. You don't want to be your exotic like some dark, fragile, colorful bird imprisoned, caged in a land foreign to the stretch of her wings. So, where are you from? <laughs> Texas? I I'm from Texas. <laughs> no. Where are you really from? I, I was born in Texas. You don't look like you're from Texas. Oh, what's your ethnicity? You're so exotic. 
Google the word exotic and the definition that comes up is originating in or characteristic of a distant foreign country. The examples given consist of exotic herbs, places, and, and food items. It's a word used to describe things, not humans. By the time I was 15, I had lost count of the number of times people asked me where I was from. Oh no, where I was really from. The number of times people asked me, what are you? The number of times people called me exotic. And my high school theater teacher begged me to audition for the high school musical to help them better meet the ethnic needs of West Side Story. I told her I wasn't Puerto Rican, that I wasn't any sort of Latina. And she told me, I was ambiguous enough that I could make it work. And uh, I hear the va va boom of a Puerto Rican, which, like, uh, I don't even know what that means. I assume she was calling me sexy, which is definitely the compliment a 15 year old girl is looking for from her high school theater teacher. Don't wanna. Don't seduce yourself with my otherness. My hair wasn't put on top of my head to entice you into some mysterious black voodoo. The beat of my lashes against each other ain't some dark desert beat. It's just a blink. Get over it. You know what's exotic? Peacocks! Little, little kiwi birds, mermaids, which are mythical made up creatures. I am not a mythical made up creature. I, I am a person. I have interests beyond my skin color. Uh, yes, I have thick hair, but no, no, I can't style it like black girl hair. Uh, yes, I have damn skin, but no, I can't seduce you in a fiery Mexican fashion or, or teach you how to salsa. At what point do I get to be seen as a clumsy, queso-eating lover of reading girl? Instead of a kaleidoscope toy of amusement for you. Don't want to be your exotic, your loving of my beauty ain't nothing more than funky fornication, plain pink perversion. You know what we think of when we think of poets? We think of caricatures, cartoons, funny looking, gross men who see sex and everything. We make poets a joke, something to laugh at, something to call our friends who make a dirty joke. We forget that they are people who can look at a 17 year old girl and see a sexual object to own to hold down against her will, to whisper in her ear and muffle her screams and tell her how much they love her ethnic spice. I didn't ask for olive skin, brown eyes, or, or thick hair. I didn't ask for men to flirt with me. I, I try to hide behind jokes and self-deprecation. I try to make myself act as a white girl as possible, try to wash the exotic off my skin. I try to redeem myself with intelligence, taking every AP class I can. I, I try to be kind. I try to be unassuming. I try to be oblivious when attention is cast my way. But what do you want me to do when my attention is demanded? What do you want me to do when I am grabbed by a complete stranger and called my feisty little Latina? Called my perfect little pet? Called my sexy little terrorist? I am told I was asking for it with my big exotic eyes. I am asked, what are you? as if the answer to this question is the most important thing I can offer. As if I owe anyone an answer at all. I don't. I am not your exotic, not your erotic. 
I belong entirely and completely to me.